Hi, welcome to the Dupre Neat Steam Cleaner training video. First, I'd like to thank you for your purchase and remind you if you have any questions at any time, we're available for help. The Neat is a lightweight, efficient, and multi-purpose steam cleaner that you can use on almost any surface for cleaning and sanitation. While it is safe to use on most surfaces, it's best to test on a small hidden section before proceeding. Before you start, make sure that you read all the instruction manual and safety instructions. Let me show you what comes in the box. First, we have the neat steam cleaner with its integrated hose, the steam lance, multiple cleaning brushes, the extension tubes, the floor tool, the window tool, triangular tool, a microfiber bonnet, microfiber cloth, microfiber pads, the instruction manual. To get started with your machine, open the boiler cap and fill with up to 54 ounces of regular tap water. You can also use distilled or demineralized water to prevent any mineral buildup. Never use any chemicals, soap, or oils in the boiler. Replace the boiler cap and secure tightly. Once filled with water, unravel the electrical cord completely and plug into an outlet. Ensure that the outlet has no other high wattage appliances plugged into it. Once the unit is plugged in, press the power button. The indicator light will be orange. This indicates that the steam is being produced inside the boiler. It takes about eight minutes for the boiler to reach the maximum amount of steam, at which point the green indicator light will turn on. During use, the indicator light will switch between green and orange. This is normal as the boiler is producing steam. During use, when you notice that there's no more steam coming out, it might be time to refill with water. To do so, turn the machine off, allow it to cool for 20 minutes. Now the machine itself is pressurized, so you need to release all the remaining pressure by holding the trigger until there's no more steam or pressure that can come out. After releasing all the pressure, unscrew the boiler carefully and repeat steps for filling with water. Connect the hose to the accessory that you'd like to use. To connect the accessories, insert the male part into the female part. When properly attached, the accessory release button should have clicked into the other piece's insert. To release steam, press the steam release trigger on the hose handle. A bit of condensation is normal as the accessories have to heat up before the steam gets drier. You might have condensation in the hose, which is normal. You also have the steam lock button here, which you can press with the steam trigger to lock the steam in place. To detach, press the accessory release button, hold it down and pull the two accessories apart. Now let's take a look at the accessories and how to use them. We'll start with the extension tubes. You can simply connect them into your tool of choice to extend your reach. They can be used to clean floors, grout lines, or even walls. The floor tool is the best accessory to clean all types of flooring, including linoleum, hardwood floors, ceramic, rugs, and more. What's great about this tool is that you can use it with any kind of thick cloth. You can also use the microfiber cad that came with the unit to easily slide over hardwood floors, ceramic, linoleum, or any type of flooring. Here's the best way to install the pad. Simply place the tool over top, press down, and the Velcro will attach. The best way to attach the cloth is we take the cloth, open it up, fold it like that, place it in the center, fold the cloth under the clips, and continue to use it like that. The triangular tool is used mostly to clean and sanitize car interiors, furniture, mattresses, countertops, and more. It's the best tool to disinfect any surface when you install a bonnet that will allow steam to get hotter, retain humidity, and pick up dirt as you go. To install the bonnet, you can place it like this and pull the elastic bands backwards. If you need more cloths or bonnets, you can order them directly on Dupre.com. This is the steam lens. It's used for precision cleaning such as stain removal, spot cleaning, car detailing, grout cleaning, and more. You can use the lance with or without the brushes 
and use the microfiber cloth to wipe up moisture and dirt. You can insert the small brushes directly at the tip of the lance to get a good scrubbing action on the surface. Here's how to install the brush. Line up the lance with the hole and press it together. Dupre carries different brushes. These are the nylon brushes which you can use on delicate surfaces such as grout or appliances. The nylon bristles will bend out of place but you can keep using it until they wear out completely. This is the brass brush. It's meant for more aggressive scrubbing on harder surfaces. Remember to always test the surface first on a small hidden section. You can use the brass brush on the barbecue grill, the interior of an oven, on stone, or on any other resistant surfaces. Remember, for this tool to work properly, you need to be directly on the surface. The brushes become hot during use, so be careful if you're removing them or changing them. The last accessory is the window tool. It features a scrubbing foam side, and a squeegee side. You can use it on glass, mirrors, or any other flat surface. You can also simply spray the window without the tool and then wipe down with a clean cloth. Thank you for watching our training video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please do not hesitate to contact us if you have any questions. Follow us on social media and please leave us a review.